many of you have ever heard that you can change the world? That you can make a difference? And how many of you actually know how to do that or even believe that it's true? What if we told you that last year we 3D printed prosthetics, built microhomes for the homeless, and created systems to help the blind navigate the world? Now, we're not saying that you need to quit your jobs and dedicate all your time to helping Habitat for Humanity, but we want to show you the impact that each and every one of you can make as well. Sure, we didn't do this on our own. Our robotics team did it together. But if a group of teens can change an entire community, then imagine what each and every one of you can do as well. Maybe you don't have a lot of opportunities for community service, or maybe you don't have any ideas of your own on how you can help. When many people hear the words community service, they may envision working in a soup kitchen and not much else. However, changing lives takes many different forms. The first step is to simply listen to the problems of those around you. And it doesn't even have to be a big effort on your part. Now, this may seem like a daunting task, it's taken our team 12 years to establish relationships based on helping others and coming up with solutions based on listening. Something that our team recognized was a large homelessness issue within Washington State. We contacted local charities and organizations to see what we could do to help. We decided on building two microhomes and donated them to a local charity for homeless youth. In these tiny houses, there's the basic necessities such as a shower, a toilet, a refrigerator, and even a bed. The only difference, however, is that it was all within 50 square feet. This was a way that we could help our community, and it all started with simply listening. We are in a place of privilege where we have the time and resources to help others. You may not have an entire robotics team behind you and funding from big corporations to help in your endeavors. But in reality, helping others doesn't have to cost you. If you don't have the ability or materials to build a microhome, you can help people in less demanding ways. Another thing that we did to help the homeless that didn't require nearly as much effort as building a microhome was holding a blanket drive. All we did was put out the word that we were collecting blankets and the community responded. These supplies were still very essential for the homeless community. And while it was a small effort, it still had a big impact. It is possible to help others with minimal time and effort on your part. This effort is worth your time and helping others can benefit you too. Now, it's important to recognize that while you're not the focus of service, there are so many ways that it can help you as well. Studies show that helping others can improve your self-image and increase your compassion. These are two skills largely associated with reducing levels of anxiety and depression. As someone who's struggled with anxiety their entire life, I firsthand witnessed the ways that service can change your perspective. Not only that, but every interaction that you have is an opportunity to learn from those around you. There are so many different cultures and life experiences that can be truly eye-opening. If you take even a little bit of time to get to know those around you while you help them, you can create an unlimited number of bonds. About a year ago, I got to meet one of the sweetest people. Her name is Michaela. She's a four-year-old girl missing one of her arms just below her elbow. Our robotics team was able to create a prosthetic for her that allowed her to ride her bike safely for the first time. When she came to our robotics room, she was overwhelmed by everyone surrounding her to take measurements of her arm and trying to fit her for her first prosthetic. I didn't do much. I simply sat next to her on a table and played games with her to keep her mind off of everything going on around her. And when it was finally time, I watched her ride her bike around our school hallway for almost an hour. But her smile was enough to change the way that I think forever. Whenever I lose motivation to help others or forget what I'm doing it all for, I simply think about her smile and the way it made me feel, and the fact that I was able to change a little girl's life in a huge way. You can all do the same. Every skill can make a difference. Our examples are all construction and engineering based because those are the skills that we've developed through robotics. But this world is made up of so many people with so many different skills. There are bakers and artists, construction workers and retail workers, and so many other jobs that people in this world do daily. Challenge yourself to use the skills from whatever job you do or hobby you might have to help others. Even just speaking to those around you can make a difference, and it's what we're doing right now. You all have the skill to speak to those around you. Service can become something as second nature as talking, and the possibilities for what you can do to help others are endless. The only limit is your imagination. Through discovering these endless possibilities, 
our team became one of the largest resources for gardening and other eco-friendly projects within our community. Now, at this point, you may be asking yourself, what does gardening have to do with robotics? And to that I say, it doesn't, but we did it anyways, because we saw the need in our community, and we knew that even the smallest skills that we've learned, such as how to use a power drill, could be helpful in constructing needed facilities for gardening. This is a list of projects and events that our team has done over the past several years. As you said before, a big part of what we do is simply talking to others. We've connected with everyone from local elementary schoolers to our representatives and legislators in Olympia through outreach events. And it doesn't stop there. Our construction-based projects, such as our microhomes and prosthetics, are some of the biggest projects that we do, as reflected in our list. We also dedicate a lot of time to teaching others, and we went all the way to a school in Costa Rica to teach kids there the basics of programming and engineering. This is an example of how we have learned and grown in order to teach the next generation to continue our efforts. You can see just how much good has been generated through these efforts. But this level of impact would not have been possible if not for the countless hours we've been able to dedicate to serving others. If service is something that's part of your daily routine, something you do automatically, then you may find, like us, that your community is a place full of potential projects and solutions just waiting to be found by you. Thank you.